I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. True Hindus would never do such a thing like this. Way of life as cute. Keep it 100. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is gonna be about Bollywood's direct plot against Kashmir. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Good job talking about Kashmir. Before we proceed with this video, I need you to smash this video with a huge thumbs up. I don't even know if I'm gonna like it. And I need you to subscribe to this channel as well. Of course, I just wanna say a huge jazakallah khair to all you OG subscribers out there. May Allah SWT bless you. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. If you're new to this channel, Welcome to the channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is SQ and I'm just a regular Muslim dude who loves Islam. I love talking about it, I love explaining it, and more importantly, I love helping people identify and discover their Islamic identities. So today's video is about Bollywood's direct plot against Kashmir, and I'm going to be talking about specific actors and an actress supposed to be a Muslim, and you would think, yo, where's the Muslim love and support? You see the videos on Instagram, you've seen them on social media, you know what's happening, yet their voices are silent. We're going to be talking more about that. And I'm a dude who used to love his Bollywood, bro. So first, let's understand why they don't want to talk about it publicly about the atrocities that India is doing against Kashmir. They don't want to talk about it because it loses that paper, y'all. You know how much endorsements these people have? If they speak up against what India is doing, against what's happening in Kashmir, they're going to lose a ton of money. The other big reason is that their major fan base are Indians. The moment they start speaking against what India is doing, condemning it, even in the slightest form of support, the Indian fan base is going to drop them like a fly. But what they don't understand is that this is their sadaqah. Everyone has to sacrifice something and in order for us to get to Jannah, don't think that you're not going to have to sacrifice. Sacrifice is the path that you have to take to get into Jannah. Their platform, them willing to sacrifice their image for doing the right thing is their sadaqah but they don't want to do that bro. They have some worldly gains and they're afraid to lose them. Oh he baka speaking the truth ya. Yeah. Let's jump into our first person that I'm going to be roasting. Priyanka Chopra Jonas. Weird. See, Priyanka CJ is a UNICEF peace ambassador. Recently, she posted a tweet in support of the Indian army of what they're doing in Kashmir by saying a word like Jay Hind. I want to talk to you, UNICEF. Are you dumb? How are you having her as a peace ambassador when she's doing things like this? Why haven't you dropped her already? You fake! How can a person of peace support the killing and illegal occupation of another land? Are you guys that desperate? Out of the 40 films that Priyanka Chopra has made, 20 of them are either flops or disasters. So this is one thing I'm learning about you right now, UNICEF, is that you have zero quality control, bro. This brother is taking it too far, yeah? But she's a flop actress. Half of her films are flops or disasters, yet you're still letting her endorse you? UNICEF, y'all need to screen your actresses or something, bro. Priyanka, they need to drop you, not because you really don't support peace. The truth is you're whack, but you can't be no damn peace ambassador and you're supporting such hateful acts against a people that's not peaceful at all or don't speak about my India like that oh Saf Ali Khan or should I say Saf Ali Kapoor you're a joke hold on a second you are a Muslim supposedly Allah knows best yet you played a Muslim in a movie who turned out to be a terrorist hmm, hmm, hmm. that don't make sense that's the first time you ever played an open Muslim in a movie and the first role you do is of a terrorist? They're creeping around, pretending to be Muslims. How is that not supporting a false stereotype, a false narrative, a false story that they have against Muslims already? You fake! The truth is, you were probably broke! I'd be roasting you more, but you don't even got no social media, bro. You're probably in some cave or something. You played into this stereotype and making Muslims look bad. So, not only are you posing to be a Muslim, you're not even speaking up against your brothers and sisters, and you're causing more harm than good. Get him, SQ! My homie Amir Khan. Here's the thing, bro. I had a lot of respect for you just because of the quality of movies you made and the social messages that you've told, but chill out. You've truly disappointed me. You make movies about things that are not popular topics or taboo topics that aren't being given enough weight in society. You're always willing to push the envelope, yet you're not speaking against this oppression. You fake! You're retweeting and mentioning Modi or Moody for his initiative against plastic, bro? Plastic? 
you're supporting Modi's No Plastic Initiative, but your silence is supporting the genocide initiative that he's put in place. Everyone will unfollow you now. Get your priorities right, bro. Plastic? Oh, Salman Khan. You know what? You're legit a dude who's always openly giving salam to people. Respect. Openly saying words like inshallah and mashallah. You know what? Respect. I don't really hear any Muslim celebrity talking about things like that, so respect. But homie, where's your voice? Always showing Muslims Eid love. Brilliant. But on Independence Day, you tweeting about making a dua that India continues to grow and prosper forever? The munafiqun. Really? Plastic? Is this how you want them to grow? Because they are growing right now by causing a genocide in Kashmir against the Muslims. Your people, your Muslims, and you're supporting and encouraging this growth? This isn't growth. This is killing, bro. You fake. And I'm disappointed that someone like you who's always showing Muslims some love has been silent about this issue. What are you afraid of? Your big boss role going away, bro? Come on. You won't want to cast you for Debung 19? Everyone will unfollow you now. Like, come on, bro. Do what's right. And all you out there wondering about my last person who I used to love so much. Ugh. You know him as King Khan, the Bacha of the Khans, Shah Rukh Khan. Bro, you are a embarrassment. I've lost so much respect for you over the past few years because of the quality of movies you're making is trash. You've lost your step, but honestly I'm ashamed to have ever had any love towards you at all. You here busy promoting your Netflix series? Switch off your social media. I don't want to see your face. Your people are dying if they are even your people anymore. If you haven't sold yourself out, worshipping idols and putting the Quran next to it. You're a sellout, bro. So, next to Ganesha and Lakshmi, we have the Quran also there. And uh, we put our hands together and say the Gayatri Mantra, which my son says, and I say, Bismillah. Afraid to lose all that those endorsement money, bro. Afraid to get dropped from Netflix. And you know what? You know what? When people are eating good and their money is right and they get paid a lot, sometimes that money goes to the belly. It happens. Sometimes that money might go through the thighs. But your money is going straight to your nose, bro. The real conspiracy isn't about how all you Muslim actors are silent about this Kashmir issue. The biggest conspiracy is how no one's really talking about how big your nose has gotten over the past few years. Bro, you played the role of of a Muslim in a movie. And you never do that, by the way. You love your worshiping of idols. And in that movie, you're all frazzled because uh, someone called you a terrorist and you want to go ahead and remove that title of terrorism. Yet, yeah, your people, Indians, are the true act of terrorism. They're performing a genocide out there, yet you and your nose are quiet. Because the truth is you played the role of a Muslim in a movie. But that's what you were doing. You were playing a role. It was acting. You fake! Shame on you, bro. You need to be a little more nosy. And Allah knows best. Your movie comes out and knows one cares. <laughs> that was a good punch. Here's a future prediction, Nostradamus. You're finished. You're finished. You're finished. You exploited the Kashmiri people in your movie Dilse. Literally making money out of the idea of terrorism and Muslims being terrorists and fighting over this piece of land, yet you are not speaking up against it. You fake! The truth is you're a fraud. And you are a fraudster. And you played the role of a Muslim, but you really just played yourself right now. <laughs> Guys, this industry changes you, and all this money and fame and Netflix series changes you. But I'm gonna pose something else. It doesn't change you, it exposes a weakness in your Iman and character that's always been alive and existed. Allah uses these as opportunities to show you why you're not the best of people. Allah uses this as an opportunity to truly expose to yourself how fake you've always been. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. True Hindus would never do such a thing like this. True, actual, proud Indians would never allow their country to have such a negative reputation because a true Indian would uphold the values of his country with dignity. And if you're an Indian out there supporting such atrocities, you a fake Indian, bro. Well, that was the video, guys. I want to know your thoughts. Tell me in the comment section below. Any feedback is totally welcome. I would love to connect with you all in the comment section. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you smash this video with a huge thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. Plastic! And until next time, I'm out. I'm feeling good waking up today. Got to say thanks to Allah for giving me another day.